communication is critical in so many ways in our projects. And the building design suite by Autodesk really has enabled us with so many tools to be able to effectively communicate with our clients. And rendering in Autodesk 360 is just another one of those ways that we're able to bring our designs to our clients on a level that they're going to understand. Glumac, uh, we're a consulting engineering firm and our core business is mechanical, electrical, and plumbing engineering. But about 20 years ago, we decided to focus on sustainable design. Our real key focus and our core value is green buildings that work buildings that are actually achieving the performance we set out to achieve. Glumac has been working with the architecture firm AC Martin for some time on the Wilshire Grand project in downtown Los Angeles. Not only is it the largest concrete pour in history, but it's also the tallest building west of Chicago. It's really a world-class project. The Wilshire Grand is uh, owned by Korean Airlines and specifically Chairman Cho. And we knew that there was a presentation coming up to display and explain our systems to the chairman. Now, Chairman Cho is actually a mechanical engineer, so he has a very significant interest in the systems in the project, which is a good thing, but also, um, for me, it made me a little bit nervous to be able to present to somebody like Chairman Cho uh, and only be given a very limited time to be able to present an enormous amount of very complex information. We knew that we wanted to do something special to help him understand without having to just look at 2D diagrams and things like that. So we decided that one of the best ways to do that was to create renderings, uh, visualizations inside our model showing how the systems work. When I saw David come into the office, he said, well, I've got to produce all these renderings to be able to show him what the boiler plant is going to look like, what the chiller plant will look like, how the piping distribution is going to be uh, provided throughout the building. We were getting a little bit worried about being able to meet our own expectations as well as the deadline for the client. So when it came time to render some of these scenes that we had created in Revit, I noticed right next to the traditional Revit render button, there was another one called Render in the Cloud. Knowing that we had this tight deadline and I wasn't sure if I was going to make it without some magical help, I clicked the button, I tried this unfamiliar tool, and to my surprise, not only was it easy, it actually worked. I asked him, I said, how quick was that? How fast were you able to make that? and he started thumbing through a bunch of images and said this one was 17 minutes, this one was 9 minutes, 2 minutes, 12 minutes. The results were impressive. We were able to create 16 megapixel images where I probably would have normally chosen 8 or 5 knowing how long it took. I was able to not only get the quality that I wanted, but I was able to finish these in the time that it would have taken my Revit workstation to finish approximately 2% of that same image. He had a, a batch of results that he started producing within an hour that were of some of the best quality that I've ever seen from an MEP rendering. Rendering in Autodesk 360 is perfectly integrated into the building design suite. When selecting render in the cloud in the Revit interface, it takes you to rendering in Autodesk 360 and it shows you a list of all of your 3D views in your Revit file. And so not only can you just render one and wait for it, you can actually select as many as you'd like to be rendered simultaneously in their cloud processing. What we are able to do with daylighting and illuminance studies in Autodesk 360, it allows us to show the uniformity of the daylight coming through the space. It also allows us to provide the best space and the best experience for the occupants that will be there. When we render to the cloud, it's not something that's disconnected from our model, but it's the same exact model that we're using and if we want to change the design, we can see how that design affects our final product, even in the rendering. To present extremely complex information in ways that everybody can understand it gives us a competitive advantage. And I was very pleased that afterward I got feedback from the rest of the team that the chairman was impressed with our presentation. And it really helped solidify our relationship, which was so important for such a significant project for us.